All right, this is match three. We're playing Dredge Vine, and uh, it's me and Melissa again. Hey. As you would assume. Why would I change, like, commentators mid-videos? That's weird. That's really weird. I will play first. Unless I trade it with the goblin. Don't do that. Wait, what is that? You know, oh, the goblin from the dungeon. Like, yeah, exactly. No, we're not doing that. They don't come out that often. We keep this hand, right? Yeah, I think so. Can we go Fauna Shaman, discard Gravecrawler, get Gravecrawler, play Gravecrawler, reanimate Gravecrawler? Oh my god. I don't even know what you just said. I don't either. Mark Anthony. Wow. This guy is seriously old school. It was Bird, right? I didn't even ask, but I just assumed Bird over Oh, obviously. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially because we don't have No, secondly, right, exactly. Okay. Just want to make sure. That felt autopilot, but it seems obvious, so I'll see you gonna kill it. Don't kill it. Just don't be a jerk. It's dead. It's so dead. Oh, oh well, dreadful. we get a turn out of it. No, he won't kill the bird. He'll kill us. All right, now, here's a greedy play. I think it's Bird Gravecrawler. Well, the greedy play that I was thinking was actually um, Grizzly Salvage for a land play bird. Okay, that's not. I don't think that's. And great. then the following turn, you can lot with troll, discard gravecrawler, and then cast it. Oh, I like that. That's not that greedy. That, that actually seems strategic. Well, it's greedy if you don't hit land. And if in top five, watch, we're not gonna hit one. It's gonna be. A, oh, okay, good. Ooh, all right, let's see what we want actually. Do you just want marsh flats? Um. Well, what are we getting with marsh flats? Because like. Uh... It's just better to just get... I'm pretty like, sure it's either a blood... Well, it is because it saves us one point, but I was just figuring uh, later we're, in the We're game... playing against burn, so we do want to save one point. Absolutely. Well, what if we get a... We're going to play a bird. We can't get forest, so... They're, they're not going to kill our bird. We just get overgrown, too, I think. They're going to hit our face. Yeah, okay, that's fair. So we'll get this. All right, there we go. Stop dying. I'm sorry. I took a sip and it went down the wrong, like, I want to say pipe, but that's not how that works. It's not a pipe. Oh, God. <clears throat> Look, he did it. He shot it to the face. This matchup seems very good with uh, Death Rite Shamans. Yep. But that might be all we have against this guy. He's got seven cards and we're at 13. Well, like, the problem is you really can't afford to pay two life with our lands. I and, agree. And we did that. Twice. Yeah, well, the first time we didn't know. That's true. It the was, second uh, time we had no excuse, really. Well, we didn't know and we didn't have a choice, really. We had, uh, all well, we had was an overgrown tomb. Oh, do I just pay four here? Or I can abrupticate this guy. Yeah, you you cannot take four. You have to let that guy live. Yeah, abrupticate is actually just... And we also have a lot less troll that can block that thing all day. All of these things are acceptable. Oh, wow, that's great. I can go troll, gravecrawler, and still abrupticate this guy. Yep. Or I can play Fauna Shaman and just abrupt decay this guy. Um, I like being able to discard Gravecrawl. Like, that's just a card, right? Yeah. So you're saying Fauna Shaman, hold, hold abrupt grave... decay, and then discard the Gravecrawler to the Fauna uh, Shaman. Maybe we go... Yeah, 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 exactly. You can get a death right. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, death right seems real good in this situation. I mean, we just we got a birds. So we'll have this guy. Lightning bolt. And if you lightning bolts her, that's just actually fine. Yeah, it's uh, less three less damage to us. I don't like taking damage. It's probably one of my least favorite parts about magic. Look at that mountain. That's a good looking mountain. Mm -hmm. It's probably the most uh, mountain esque mountain that I've ever seen. More than this. This is like a, this could be a cavern. This could be a river. Mm -hmm. Basic land river. But this is definitely a mountain. You know get what I'm saying right now? I totally get what you're saying. Picking up what I'm putting down here. We're gonna go Dead black guy. green. But up to decay. Alright, he's gone. Oh, he's gonna regenerate him? Red regenerate. Are you gonna fling him? What does that do? This is oh, that's kill fine. The fauna shaman. That's actually fine. I can't do anything about that. That was exactly what we wanted to have happen. That was a three for one. Two. Three for two. Mm -hmm. 
I think we do that just because we have Gravecrawler. Yeah, let's, yeah. I think I, we I, do yeah. that, he says. Yeah, I, I think we do that. that. Do 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 do. Oh wow. I think it's Bloodgrass Gravecrawler. I do. No, I would cast the with a bird. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. I know what's up. He's got four cards worth 13, so they always have to be three. And uh, we would still live. Mm-hmm. And this one's going to do three, I assume. No, it's going to be... Yeah, it'll be three. Yeah, that's fine. One down. All right, so we have two faithless lootings here, too. Ideally, we'll draw a grave crawler, or not a grave crawler, but a uh, maybe a grave crawler. But uh, I was thinking of Vengevine. Just something easy to discard. I don't like making choices. <laughs> All right, so one was a land. That's pretty good. If we draw a Vengevine, we're casting it. By the way. Sure. So yeah, that makes sense. You're smart. Smirt. Super smirt. I'm gonna loot here. How's that sound? Um, or you can just apply more pressure by casting the troll, but... Um, well, if I can get a death or charm, I feel like that puts us in better shape, but I can still cast the troll. Like, if we get nothing yeah, else. Yeah, then you'll be able to regenerate. Well, you don't know what's going on with things. You can just wait a turn. I don't want to wait a turn, because I'm going to I would never sack that marsh flats, by the way. I would only play it to get back Blood gas, guess. right. All right, you know what? Fine, you can loot here. I'm going to loot here. I like it. Oh, that's that's fine. Yep. We can discard a Marsh Flats and Timurit. Yep. And then we can the, actually yep. still play this. Mm -hmm. And get a Blood Gas back. Nope. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's perfect. <clears throat> What did you call abrupt decay again? Uh, abrupt decay. Why did you don't? That's not. Don't encourage me. That's terrible. <laughs> that's. You are the worst. The blurst. All right. So basically, um, if he tries to kill anything, which he won't, because that's not how he rolls. He's gonna have two cards. He's gonna have one card. All right. Sure. Skull has been cracked. We might just get Tim right back anyway. Do we think we just sack this guy? For, I guess we don't uh, need that bird anymore. Yeah, we don't need one of them, definitely. Well, we're gonna go to four, and he could technically just kill us. Oh, he totally could, yeah. He's probably gonna kill really us. Can you just draw a land? It's Flames of the Blood Hand. It's the last card. Yep. I love magic. I love it. Well, it's a burn deck. They just it's just to like, 20. Yeah, but it's just perfect. Like, why? He has to, he has to, he had to draw perfect lands to have three lands. Even despite shard volleying, and then he still had to, like, it was still exact. Whatever. What are you gonna do? A bit of the key. That's all I got. I don't think anything is good in the sideboard. No, so. I don't think so either. I don't see any card I want. We just have to be more careful with lands this game. I guess so, yeah. Am I bringing thought seizes? No, I <laughs> don't think so. That's terrible. All right, I guess we're good. Um. Hmm. Hmm. If he was playing Grim Lava Mancer, I'd consider Dark Blast, but we don't know if he has it. Grim Lava Yeah, we still have three Lighting Axes and four Abrupt Decays that we have to have uses for, so... It's not even that bad. Like, yeah. we still have things to do. Alright, let's play first. Oh, God. Man. Like, I don't hate it. Faithless Looting, turn one bird, and like, like, I think we do it, we just be more careful after this Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, I think so too. This hand's really good, actually. I think he's already established that he's not gonna really kill our birds. Yep. Yeah, we can discard two Venge Vines and then cast a bird and then cast whatever else. Yeah, that's real good. Alright. Let's hope that works out in our favor. Oh, we can little troll. We can just go bird troll. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Well, you said something. You said whatever else is if we had to draw it. We did not. No, no, what I was saying is you... Play Troll, discard two Venge Vines, and then you play Bird, and then whatever else you have to uh, get the Venge Vines back. Cool story, bro. Oh, I see what you're saying. You were going to loot to discard those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, how are you going to... Oh, you were going to play Troll, discard them both? That yeah. seems fine, too. Make a 4-3? I mean, yeah, that seems fine. We'd have to get a land, though. Carpaline Gorge. That's a... Oh, that's a good dude. 
Let's hmm. loot. Uh, and if we, if we, let's see what we get. Yeah, if we hit land, we can just right get two bench vines. This turn, even we, we did, did not. not. Well, that's the thing. All right. I think we still go Deathrite Shaman. Yep. And if he wants to kill Deathrite Shaman, more than fine. Next time we can go Bird Deathrite Shaman. Yep. So double bench vine. It's definitely double bench vine. I'm wondering if it is Bird though. Yeah, you know what? I think birds actually better. Because if he kills our bird, if he sees we have no land, he kills our birds, then we can't actually get Ventrons back. But if we have at least one bird, we're fine. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right, let's do let's let's do this, as they say. He did not do anything except for shoot me in the face. All right, well, that's the thing. Um, we can actually go a lot less troll Gravecrawler as well. I think I'd just rather have Deathrite Shaman. Sure. Let's go Deathrite Shaman, Lothless Troll. Okay. I don't really care about regeneration. Like, if he wants to kill it, he can kill it. Yeah, he uh, is going to... I mean, we can also discard three creatures to it. To Correct, save it and I will discard all three of these if I want, if I have to. Nice. Always worried about like Rakdos charm, but then I'm like, if he doesn't exile one, he's they're gonna they're gonna come back. You shoot me? Huh? Hmm. Seems fine. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the mana to win before I can start Deathrite Shamaning things. Like, if I can activate Deathrite Shaman every every turn, like, it just it turns all his damage into one damage. It turns all his spells into one damage. Cool. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, so we should definitely discard these guys here. I'm gonna keep a Deathrite Shaman in hand. But that's okay. gonna keep this guy alive. And he's gonna actually go to 10, so if I can get Bloodgast, he's just dead. Actually, he's dead on board. Yeah, he's just dead. That was a, a weird play. Well, he didn't. He was just dead anyway. So it wasn't, right, it that, wasn't was that weird. He just good, good game. Good yeah, game. I, I guess his play was to just hope he didn't like have two creatures. Yeah, hope we didn't have any creatures in hand. Weirdo. Am I right? Yeah, I did. I did have two creatures. Spoiler alert. Mm-hmm. Uh, this hand also seems really good. Yeah, I think we, any hand where we can yeah, just. We do have to be careful with our lands again this game because we have fetches and stuff. What if we just go Verdant Catacomb? Well, yeah, oh, God. Uh, you're right. I would go, like, turn one Verdant Catacombs Pass. into something tapped, like Blood Crypt. Uh, what a Stomping Ground. Uh, oh, Blood Crypt might be better, you're right. Uh, yeah. Then turn two, you can go Troll and then discard um, stuff. Goblin oh. Guide. We, we have a Brook oh. Decay, so that's fine. It's not great, but what if he gives us a land? Give us a land. We don't even want land. We have to, we'll have to discard. We have stuff to discard anyways. <laughs> oh no, not discarding. In this deck? You have to just pass the turn here. I know. Man, Goblin died such a beating on the play. Did he mulligan? No, he just took, he just played two cards. So he knows of this. I got double grave problem, that's pretty good. Can't block, I guess, but... Yeah, next turn you're definitely playing the troll. Really? Over Abrupt Decay? Yeah. Oh, just so we can, like, discard can ten block. cards? Yeah, you can yeah, block. You have three good. cards to discard. What's this? What's the hold up here? I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I'm thinking real hard. Nice. Thanks for the freebie. That's actually a good one. That lets us play Troll without taking any damage. Yep. Phantasmic. Um, actually, you would have to get Stomping Ground in order to do that. Instead of Overgrown Zoom? Yeah, that's fine. I'll get a Stomping Ground. Ooh. We gotta let that thing happen. That's actually fine. Oh my god, that's so scary. Taking four from that thing. Well, no, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's fine to let him happen because I have Abrupt Decay. Yeah. So either we play Troll, block this guy. Well... 
I think we erupt a cave first. Another the, hit from Goblin Guide? Well, we're going to have to take a hit from one of these guys. Mm -hmm. And if we, we can't block this guy with troll yet without having the troll die. Yeah, it's better than taking four. So you're taking two, two instead of four. Two. Yeah. Nope. You can have it. Oh god, does he have another one? No, that's fine. Again, not really that big of a deal. Alright, so we are getting stopping ground here? Yes, we are. Yeah. Dang, bird. I think we just abrupt decay it now. To, yeah, to otherwise you have to discard. Not that the discarding is a bad thing, right, but it's but better to discard to things, to like, things like Faithful trolls Sitting. Yeah. And I'd rather get benefits from discarding. Mm -hmm. Trolls and lootings. So I got a 10 here, and he has four cards in hand. Ugh. It's a little scary. Especially because we have no pressure on him whatsoever. Mm -hmm. This deck seems so efficient. It is. It's. It really is. It's the most scary deck to play against ever, and it's like 50-50 against everything. You can win every single matchup. That's terrible. Oh, we got an, an overgrown tomb, huh? Yeah. Okay. Oof. So we're just gonna play troll here. Yep. And just play like overgrown tomb tapped. Yeah, we really can't go to nine or eight. I will not do that. So now we have this. You guys have grave crawler. So goblin guide will not be a threat anymore, but he's already dealt like six damage. So yeah. Sure. I feel like his um his number of lands is the most uh Well, wow, alright, still offering up free cards. I would discard only the um Well I, I would discard first Vengefine and Grave Crawler. Right. And then wait to discard Just in case he has another way to kill it, we want to be able to make sure that you're able to cast that yeah. crawler. Makes total sense. Well, that's the end of that. Sounds like two burn spells. Can I just draw a death right shaman? That'd be great. Are you going to flames with the blood hand me? And then I'm just dead after that? Oh, Fallout. So, uh, do we want to just... I think we just discard Bird's Gravecrawler. Yeah, definitely. All right, yeah. <clears throat> That's actually completely fine. And then we get a 6-4, a 6-5. Yep. And, and we have infinite lands. And we have serious pressure We can get both, graveyard, both Grave Crawlers and Avenge Vine this turn. <clears throat> and I, I want a looting this turn, too. Yeah. And see if we can get a um, Death Rite Shaman. Fauna Shaman is kind of like a Death Rite Shaman, but I don't want to take the damage. No. We're still going to discard these two lands. Yep. And we're going to hope he doesn't have two burn spells that can just kill us. I know, it's so scary. Nope, that's not going to work the way I want it to work. I think we might just be dead. Although if he can't kill us next turn, we we have enough pressure. Do we want to actually... leave up like a, a blocker for Goblin Guide? Um, I don't see a reason not to. Really? Yeah, because he's going to twelve, and then like. Okay, so if we leave up a blocker for Goblin Guide. And then the following turn, he takes six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, if if he just say say if he has Goblin Guide and blocks Bench Vine. Six, seven, nine, ten. But then he goes to twelve. Right. Oh, then we, we can discard these two. Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's do that then. That seems fine. All right, here goes nothing. All right, let's see if we're dead. We're probably dead. But to My be, vote is we're dead. Yeah, I, oh, he's got three cards. They have to add up to three mana, or just, uh, five damage. Maybe he has Volcanic Fallout. That's what I was thinking too. Is he gonna slow roll me? Maybe he has flames of the blood hand. Maybe his hand is Fallout Blood Hand. Or something. if he does Fallout, he's in. Hmm. Yeah, maybe actually. All right. Well, now you just. 
dash with everything, and I think... Let's see if it's a super slow roll. Super slow rolls? Oh my god, this is damage, right? We're in damage. We're in order to blockers. Full out. Okay, so he's he's just he dead. Still takes he's 10. still dead because he's taking two here. So he takes ten. Yeah, he takes ten and dies. And then he's dead. All right, sweet. Volcanic I did not, pretty much killed I him. I actually both did games. not expect us to win that. I thought we were just dead. No, I did not either. 